I can't do things on my own. I wasn't made to do things on my own. And that's what led back into the same cycle is me trying to be by myself. And solitude is not the way to do it. And that's what hurt me. I got really bitter and I didn't know it was affecting me the way that it was. And I turned into drinking way too much. Over the last couple of years, it really picked up too much, more than I wanted to admit. I had to really look at my life and see what I was either running from or I had to see what I was angry about. And when I got really confused with it, I leaned into it even more. I started drinking because I was trying to check out. I didn't really want to be in the life situation that I was at. And I just threw a fit on the inside. Addiction with with my marriage was not good at all because I wasn't present. I wasn't there, I wasn't listening, I couldn't remember. And we can't communicate, that's the basis of everything. You're just kind of dead in the water. And I, it hurt us pretty bad and I was, I'm really, really grateful she stuck in there with me on it. I had stopped drinking before, but I didn't go to the root of it. And it led back into the same thing. And I had to be crippled physically to, uh, to admit that I needed help. And God said, hey, you, you need to let yourself heal and you need to let other people let you heal. You need to ask for help because you can't do it on your own. That, uh, that's when it changed. One of our close friends in the church has been through a very similar very similar experience and understood that it's not just about pride sometimes, it's not just about being open, but it's also being able to find a place that can help you. I ended up going to a Christian-based um, recovery facility and it was, it was incredible. I did not want to go. Um, I didn't want to go to a facility. I didn't want the straight jacket and the concrete walls and you know everything that I'd made up in my mind. I thought that I was gonna get, you know, get put in a psych ward. Uh, because I drank too many beers. I was sitting in the back aisle at church and uh, the children's service was happening. This was two days before I went and they were, uh, they had the puppet show and it was all about, you can do really difficult things. And it was, you know, Moses leading the Israelites across the sea and I just broke down. It's like this children's church message with puppets is speaking directly to me. Yeah, it broke me into peace and I said, okay, if, if God can do that for a whole group of people, he can take care of me doing something scary. I don't have to know what's on the other side. If the water's parting open, I'm gonna go through it. Coming back home was nice and pretty scary. <laughs> it was a nice mix of feelings of both. I was really, really happy to see my friends and my family, to say, hey, thank you for the help, the support, to be able to show back up to small groups, to be at church, to go to birthday parties, to hit Mardi Gras and have a good, healthy time with it, stay sober with it, to show other people that their effort and their care was respected and appreciated, and I, I used it the right way. I would say my life is different because it's healthy on the inside. My marriage is, I don't know how to like rate it, it's, it's wonderful. It's not frustrating anymore. I know that she feels like she got her best friend back. I feel like I got my best friend back and I got myself back. My friendship with her, my, my communication is, I'm present for it. So I can make her feel loved, I can feel loved, I can feel seen and heard, she can feel seen and heard. It's more real and I don't wanna experience life a different way other than that with my wife. Vintage, this church family has been there for me as a church family more than a church I've ever seen in my life. And I've never had friends that act like family and people inside of the Christian church. V groups gave me the support and like the understanding and the ear that I needed, but also let me, didn't just kick me out. Didn't say, hey, you're not perfect, so you can't be a part of this. It was more like, hey, you're a human? Cool, we are too. Why don't you be a part of our group? I drank for about 10 years, and it was just clouding my mind. And now I have a, a clarity that wasn't there before.